10 Reasons Why the Acer Swift 3 May Be a Good Laptop to Consider. Number one has got to be the screen. Gorgeous screen with great colors. Very close to the edge of the display as well. Incredible screen. Number two is the all-around design and portability of this computer. Very light, compact, easy to transport and travel with. Number three has got to be the specs that this computer ships with. Comes with a 10th gen i5 CPU, Thunderbolt 3 capability, Wi-Fi 6 for very strong internet connection. Even the SSD that this computer ships with is a Kingston NVMe with faster than regular read-write speeds in comparison to a lot of laptops on the market. So number three is definitely the specs. Number four is the trackpad, which is just an absolute pleasure to use. Very responsive, great sensitivity, sensitive but not too sensitive to the touch. Number four, trackpad. Number five is the backlit keyboard. <laughs> Very, very easy to see. The keys light up all around. Excellent backlit keyboard. Number six is the webcam. It's only a 720p webcam, but great picture, great quality, great response time. Number six, webcam. Number seven is the streaming capability of this computer, which is really strong. It streams 1080 up to 4K. No issues, no problem. Really great way to always test the graphics card on any laptop is stream 1080p and minimize and maximize the picture and look for lag, hesitation as it's minimizing and maximizing. You can see on this computer, it's not struggling at all. So number seven, streaming capability. Number eight, I'm going to say is the overall speed of the computer, especially when it comes to the internet and using the internet. Very, very fast. It doesn't hesitate at all. I'm just typing random searches into Google. You can see the searches are just popping right up. Number nine is the sound, which is impressive for the size of this laptop. Number nine, sound. And the 10th and final reason to consider the Acer Swift 3 is the fact that it can take Windows 10. And not only that, but the battery life. So I've been running the computer now for about an hour and nine minutes, and I've still got 85% battery remaining. So number 10, battery life. Hope you found value, and if you did, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more tech-related videos in the future. Till then, stay safe out there, guys. Later.